Hey, 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 friend. Welcome back to the Side Hustle Growth Podcast. Uh, welcome, Lord. welcome. Thank you for joining me. I am your host, Chris and N. James, aka CJ, Side Hustle Success Coach. And today we're diving into a topic that's sure to pique your interest. I'm sure it is. You've already read what the title is, and it's to the top three easiest side hustles for busy nine to five women. Now, this is a follow up episode. If you checked out from a couple couple weeks ago, yeah, a couple weeks ago, be sure to go check out that episode where I was addressing why nine to five women would hesitate to start their own side hustle. So be sure, be sure to go back and check that episode out. But since time was the biggest factor, followed by fear, and then the amount of effort it takes to have a side hustle, I said I'd share some easy side hustles in a separate episode. So that's what's happening today, bearing in mind that when we use the term side hustle, okay, we meet, we simply mean earning income outside of your regular income source, outside of your salary or whatever type of job you may have. So it doesn't have to be your own business that you're building from the ground up. That's not necessarily what a side hustle is about. Before we get into it, let me know how you are doing. Let me know how you are doing. If you're tuned in on YouTube, you can comment below or you can find me on Instagram at Kristen and James. I am also on LinkedIn and slide in my DMs and let me know how you're doing. You have to remember, you have to, have to, have to remember to connect with me and let me know how you found that you let me know that you found me through the podcast. I really love hearing that as well. Okay. 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 Let's jump right into this. Let's get into this. First up, we're talking about easy side hustles. So first up, I'm going to share about affiliate marketing, okay? If you have a strong online presence or you're active on social media, affiliate marketing could be a great option for you. Simply partnering with companies that you like and you have used, I would think would make the most sense. And you promote their products or services to your audience, to your community, whatever that looks like for you. And every single time someone makes a purchase through your link, your, your unique affiliate link, you earn a commission. It's a simple and effective way to earn passive income. I've also tried these as well. I wanted to try them out so I can also give authentic feedback. So next on the list is online surveys. With the rise in market research companies and really needing people's feedback, there's no shortage of opportunities to earn money, but just by sharing your opinions, just by sharing your feedback. So you simply sign up for more reputable. There's so many other reputable survey sites like branded surveys, and you start completing surveys in your spare time. And it's an easy way to earn extra cash without any commitment. I have a follow-up, but there's like a footnote to these, but I'm going to share that after I share number three. And number three we have, which is secret shopping. How fun is that? If you enjoy shopping, you have a keen eye for detail, secret shopping could be a perfect side hustle for you. Companies do hire secret shoppers to evaluate their stores and provide feedback on customer experience. And not only do you get paid for your time, but you also get to enjoy some retail therapy along the way. And can we even ever complain about retail therapy? Now, here's my footnote before we delve into the next set of side hustles, because did you really think I was going to stop at three? Come on now. Come on now. If you've hung out with me long enough, you know I'm always giving a little bit extra. Let's take a a moment to dive into what we've discussed so far. While affiliate marketing, online surveys, and the secret shopping are all fantastic options for earning extra income. It's important to also recognize that the return on your time investment can be slow. These are side hustles that are more about generating passive income over time rather than providing immediate financial boost. Especially the surveys, like you really got to this. It takes a lot of time. You get a couple points and it only ends up being a couple bucks after you've done something for 15, 20 minutes. Like I said, I tried these out. After you've done something for 15, 20 minutes, you get a couple points and it ends up turning into like, 50 cents or a dollar, right? So think about that as well. So it's essential to approach them with the understanding that there's something to do when you have downtime rather than your, you know, a, a primary source of extra income. 
Keep in mind your goals for this additional stream of income as it may not align, right, with aspirations for significant financial growth and saving. However, every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. And these side hustles can certainly contribute to your overall financial well-being, depending on your financial goals. But now let's explore the next set of side hustle options that require a bit more commitment and strategy, but still fun and easy if you have the energy for that. First up, we have freelance work. If you have a skill or expertise, it's writing, designing, or any other field, freelancing could be a, actually a really lucrative option. By offering your services on platforms like Upwork or Fiverr, you can connect with clients and earn money on your terms. Just be prepared to put in the time and effort to build your reputation and your client base. You don't have to go those routes. You can build your freelance business anyway on your term. You don't have to go through those sites. But since this is about saving effort, this avenue might be worth exploring. If there's something that you're really, really good at and you're like, I could actually do this. No, it's no brainer. I can do this in my free time. And here you get a couple clients here or there. If you, whatever income goals, maybe you have a trip coming up, whatever it is, you just want to start contributing more to your savings and it's already something that you enjoy doing. Hey, maybe you can do it freelance. We can actually talk about that more when you hook up with me for a 15 minute vibe check. But anyway, I'm going to keep the list going. Next on the list is grocery or food delivery. With the rise of delivery apps, Instacart and Uber Eats and DoorDash and Skip the Dishes, all of those, there's no shortage of opportunities to earn money by delivering groceries or meals to customers. It's flexible and straightforward. It's a really, really easy way to make cash, especially if you enjoy driving and interacting with people. You enjoy the back and forth. You enjoy the socializing. Hey, go for it. Another option to consider just to piggyback on that one, is rideshare. You know, if you enjoy, you have a vehicle and you enjoy driving, uh, becoming a, some kind of rideshare driver in companies like Uber or Lyft can be a profitable side hustle. You have the flexibility to set your own hours and earn money whenever it's convenient for you. And last but not least, this is my favorite, we have pet sitting. If you're an animal lover, pet sitting can be fun and rewarding way to earn extra income. Whether you're watching someone's furry friend for a few hours or a few days, you'll get paid to spend time with adorable pets while their owners are away. Another thing that I've seen on the rise is house sitting as well. So there are opportunities for you to earn extra income without feeling like you're having to start and grow and build this business. I mean, to, at the end of the day, you still want to have be mindful of your time and your income goals and having some kind of strategy so that you're better, you're managing your time to the best of your abilities and you're getting that return on your investment in time. So if you're house sitting, great. If you know you can, you have the capacity to house sit, you know you have the capacity to do some dog walking or go by, go by someone's house to check on their other pets, their cats, their birds, whatever it is, and they're going to pay you because our pets are, I have two dogs, so our pets are parts of our family. So we are absolutely very willing to to do that and to invest in 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 someone that is willing to to help us out when we are away, when we're not capable of of caring for them. So. There you have it. That's all for today's episode. I'll probably do another one because there's so many options. There's so I'll do more research, see what else comes up, and I'll also share some down more downsides on these quote unquote easy because sometimes easy come, easy go, right? I hope you found these suggestions somewhat helpful as you explore the world of side hustles. If you want to explore the world of side hustles, the reality is that there's no shortage of opportunities to earn extra income to pursue your passions. Remember the key is to find something that aligns with your skills, your interests, and most definitely your schedule. Happy hustling, happy hunting. You want to discuss this more, please reach out to me, book a 15 minute vibe check at my website. It is, everything is linked in the description. My website is kristennjames.com. I can help you figure all that out. You want to do something, you want to earn extra income, you don't want to do put in all the calories, we can still talk about it. Let me know what you have on your mind. 
what you have the bandwidth for, and we will take it from there. We'll do some brainstorming and take it from there. Okay, my friend, I hope that you took something away from today's episode. Please share, like, comment, subscribe, all the good things. I appreciate you joining me for every single episode, and I will chat with you. I will see you at the next one. Bye, my friend.